everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Even though by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be Monday. I still want to say Happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys had a blessed one and got to spend time with family. And even if you don't have children, I'm sure there's spiritual children you have gained along the way that you've helped to mentor and love on and, and teach things to. So I just hope you had a great one. I'm going to do a plan with me today in my traveler's notebook for the week of May 20. May 20th, <laughs> I should say. This is a traveler's notebook that I got from Michaels. I really think it's pretty, but um, I was disappointed that it only had came with one band to put notebooks in there, so I had to buy some extenders uh, to add a couple of others to go in it. So I don't know why they do it that way. Certainly left a lot out. But I'm going to plan, and I am going to try and use some of these uh, stickers here that are kind of a mishmash that have fallen out of sticker books over the past, you know, few months or whatever from use. So I am going to try and make it work for the whole week and see if I can get a little color coordination going on. And, and if not, then we'll just, you know, see what we end up with. And that's pretty much the way I like things. So, all right. So last week I did it in this little peach color that I really think is pretty. And I have this uh, washi tape here that has the gold, um, peach, light pinks, and everything in it. So I'm going to try and continue this thing here. And so I'll be using uh, this tape here that will, the light green that is so pretty. These two are if you've watched any of my plan with me you've probably seen that they're a theme with me i love these two colors i just think they look so beautiful and they go together so well i also love purple but i have and lavender and lilac and all of those as well i'm just a pastel girl when it comes to stuff like that i really love my pastels okay so i will do what i always do and i'm just going to line my weeks Hopefully, it will get through it okay. One of the biggest problems I have is centering things and, and lining it up and making it look very pretty. Things always seem to end up crooked with me when I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know who. I guess we, we could think about that one for a minute and try to figure out exactly why. I'm not telling any dirty secrets yet. Doesn't mean I won't someday. <laughs> All the things our mothers never found out and we're probably better off for not finding out. I remember my mother died, passed away in 2013, and last year was the very first, oopsie, I made that one a little bit icky, but last year was the first year I was able to go to church on Mother's Day and be able to sit through a service without breaking down. So, that was a, a true point of healing there when I knew I could go and sit and listen to my pastor talk about our mothers without just bursting into tears I knew I was truly starting to heal because if you lost a mom I mean regardless of what age you lose her at that's your mom and you know we all have different circumstances uh, my mom's passing was very sudden and there was a, a lot of drama involved did not make things easier but I know she is with the Lord, and I know I will definitely see her one day again. Probably sooner than later. But, since it is Mom's Day, if you guys have any memories of your moms that you would like to share, I would love to read them. If you want to leave them in the comments, I love stuff like that. I just... I, one of my favorite things to do was always sitting around back in South Carolina, sitting around on a front porch in a rocking chair on a 
summer afternoon or evening and listen to all my aunts and uncles tell their stories. I loved it. And I, to this day, I still love it. All right. So we've got that done. And I was going to put a little extra something here because I had gotten some tapey here, uh, some washi tape here. And I'd made a bad little spot with my um, fingernail pulling it up. So I'm going to add a little extra something something. Okay. This, I think, is, it would look pretty, but it's just too big. It would take up the entire space. And I don't want to do that. Of course, I could just carry on the coordination and put that on there. But that is kind of thick, too. So. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go with the lace. Tie that in kind of pretty. I have been looking at some of the new uh, sticker books that um, Happy Planner has put out. They have really put out some gorgeous stuff. I've got a couple of the new ones, but there's so many more that I want. I mean, I go through stickers like nobody's business. Probably every planner does. Scrapbooker. And uh, I think all the planner companies have kind of figured this out because they cost a million dollars now. Okay, I don't know why this is not going on like it should for me, but it is giving me a heck of a time. Why is this so hard? Somebody help. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. It is not. You know what? <laughs> I give up. I'm going to put a sticker there. How about that? <laughs> you know, you have to admit when you're defeated. You have to understand and, and just give it a, a, you know, give it your best go and then graciously surrender if you have to. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right here. I surrender with my little white flag. There we go. That looks pretty anyway. It's like it's just sprouting out of the side. So I'll take it. It's good. Not gonna be upset. So we'll put some more of these flowers in here. My favorite thing is flowers. One of the sticker books I have seen is all flowers. It's just oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna have to go out and sell a kidney or something so I can buy all the things that I want. <laughs> but in my shape, I'm not sure if I'd get much for it. <laughs> Don't you guys just love hearing me whine about my horrific <laughs> conditions? <laughs> oh. Alright, another flower down here. I love having my flowers bloom from the corners. I just think that kind of puts it all into together. I want to put this today was here because I really like it, but I'm like, you know, I don't know what any day is going to be, so I just have, kind of have to wait it out. So like I said, I want to use these stickers that um, I have left over, and so much of it's like horizontal, or uh, excuse me, the vertical things, which I can't use in this little horizontal traveler's notebook. So, let's stick a little planner sticker. I love the little planner stickers. So, we'll put it right here over the flowers. That's cute. I have, do have a couple of things coming up this week, actually. So, this is not totally useless. Of course I have 15 planners. Again, I just do this because it's pretty. It is pretty. Okay. I'm going to do a to-do thing. 
because Monday I do have a lot of stuff coming up. That's pretty. I think I got through most of the birthdays this month without incident. Still have my husband's coming up and then my sister-in-law's is Tuesday. This is just a crazy month for this family. So much going on. There's always a reason to smile. Absolutely. I'm going to put that on there. It's really not made to fit this, but I'm going to kind of center it so it looks just kind of cute. I hear the puppies going off, but I have locked them out of my room here so they don't completely interrupt me. One day I'm going to show you all my pups. I have three and two of them are very, very old. My Chihuahua is 11 and he is the instigator and troublemaker. And then I have a little, um, she's a little puppy mill rescue if you know anything about puppy mills. Sweetest little thing. Uh, we think, we've had her two years and the vet said she was between three and five when we got her. So we think she's, you know between five and six or so, but she's just like a puppy. She just loves, loves, loves to play and to cuddle. And then my oldest boy is a um, fox terrier and he's, that poor guy, he's like 16 years old and he's losing his teeth and he's getting the jowls, you know, that old people get around their mouth. But he still jumps and plays. Not as quickly as he used to, but he still does it. Okay. I want to put. It's the only thing about these travelers, if you just overdo it too much, it doesn't, you know, look good at all. But I, I am one of those. I tend to overdo everything, so I don't like leaving blank spaces. For me, it's always my mind is like, okay, what can I put there? What can I put there? It's just how my head works. My kids scream at, well, they don't scream at me, but they talk all the time about, why do you put so much up? Because they're both very, like, minimalist kind of, you know, people, and I'm like, I'm not that way. I'm like, shove as much cute stuff up as I can. That's my world. Okay. I do one of my little girls here. The one riding the bicycle. I used to love to ride my bike when I was a kid, but oh my gosh, it would be such a horrible disaster if I tried it. My husband and I actually, a few years back, tried to take up bike riding, and uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't for me. It just wasn't. Woo! Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. I honestly think that might just be all I need for this week and then to write in the things that I do have coming up, which like I said, is not a lot. Well, I have appointments on Monday, doctor's appointments, of course, that's our lives, you know. And then Tuesday, as always, I have my Crisis Pregnancy Center volunteer time, Bible study Wednesday night, uh, Crisis Pregnancy Center again on Thursday, and then there's the weekend, so... Pretty much got her wrapped up in a tidy little knot here. This stuff is just so much fun. I am so happy that I found the Bible journaling and, and planner community. This has just given me so much joy. I love watching the videos of what all you ladies do and how creative you are and how beautiful you make your planners and and then the Bible journaling, the art and everything. It's just all of it. It's just it just brings me so much joy. You know, with a, as we get older, we have sometimes, you know, especially with me and my body, I had to give up a lot of things that I really, you know, enjoyed a lot, but then I found this and it I just love it. This is my you know, relax and and enjoy stuff and then when I 
do my Bible journaling too. It's just, it is a way to really, really, really unwind and, and just let the troubles of the world just kind of lift off your shoulders and then enjoy it. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. I am planned up. I just have to go in and write in the appointments that I have for that, uh, that coming week. And we are good. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Again, happy Mother's Day. And this comes out on Monday. I just hope you guys have a very good one. Um, any comments you have for me, please leave them. I love your comments. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button because those mean a lot to us. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.